Happening today, SpaceX will launch a Crew Dragon spacecraft with its sixth flight with the astronauts. Now, the mission will bring several passengers to board the International Space Station. The Crew Dragon will return to a splashdown at sea after the 10 days in space. The launch has been delayed four times already. Liftoff is set for 12.42 a.m. Pretty interesting stuff here as we look into the vast darkness of space. NASA very busy. In fact, they've now made an incredible discovery finding the furthest star they've ever seen before. So we spoke with a NASA astronomer who led the team and it was a big part of making that discovery with the Hubble. I'm doing great. You seem so happy. I love this. Yeah. Yeah, so excited. This it is a, it's a great day. Nothing can get a NASA astronomer more excited than discovering a new star. So NASA's Dan Coe is on cloud nine. We're, we're very excited. We discovered a, a very distant star um, over 90% of the way back to the Big Bang. Uh, we're looking back in time um, to see if this galaxy is 13 billion light years away. The Hubble telescope, more than three decades of work, now finding the furthest individual star they've ever seen. And it looks kind of like this, um, just a, a sort of magnifying glass. Uh, and if you get the alignment just right, like we did in this case, you might see this star really strongly magnified. So my grad student, Brian Welsh, discovered this um, and he named it Arendelle, uh, which means morning light in Old English. Um, it's also a Lord of the Rings character. And it is discoveries like this, the star seen in red from the Hubble and the new James Webb telescope that Dan says can shine a light on the infinite mysteries of our universe. It, it tells us our story, you know, where, where we came from, um, you know, it's a great underdog story when you think about it. I mean, we really came from literally nothing. It's, it's all a story. It's all part of our story of how we got to be here. A wish on a star coming true for the scientists at NASA. It is wild to think about this star, Arendelle, uh, 8.2 billion years older than the Earth and our sun, our closest star. And if you really want your mind blown, the light that we're actually able to see from this star, from the Hubble, is 10 billion years older than the first life appearing on Earth. Truly uh, looking back in time close to the Big Bang. So cool. Thanks for that, 